everybody it's me Laura and today we're going to be creating my strawberry baskets yes we are back with a tutorial and it's not a play on words pots guys <laughs> this is a regular miniature yeah you guys are like really wow <laughs> anyways I'm coming in here with a ball and this is my mud clay I want to say it was three quarters of an inch um, in diameter and I'm just creating this into a little tiny cylinder and this cylinder eventually I want to say it got down to about three quarters of an inch or actually there you go half inch wide okay or tall and then you've got about a diameter of about three quarters to an inch anyways from there I'm bringing in my Sculpey clay gun and I want to say I'm using a tan here this is a tan to gold kind of color and this tan to gold I mix my colors a little bit um, my tan and my gold are so close in just the coloring and everything else that to me there's not much of a difference so I have a tendency where sometimes I'll put my gold in my tan clay gun and vice versa it just really depends upon the tone of it this is a much you know this is a yellowish kind of tan and so it works out really good anyway I am using my third smallest circle disc from amongst my other circle Sculpey clay gun discs to press out this length of rope now this length of rope is going all the way around just like you've seen me do and then once you look at on the side there's your basket that's the pretty much the fundamentals of it I bring in then some gold clay or some tan here whichever you like to use and then I flatten that clay out on a number four setting on my Atlas Post machine and then I just take a strip of it like I've cut right there with my exacto and go right over the ropings I did on my little basket now this just creates it's a nice little feature making it look more and more like a basket there are so many ways to make little tiny polymer clay baskets I mean you could go on forever <laughs> but this is just one of my versions Here I'm bringing in one of my little cake tips and it's just the smallest little circle kind of cake tip I could find and I'm going to use this in a fashion where I would like a stamp or something that would give me a texture and that's what this does here. This just makes a nice little circle imprint into the clay. okay so to make my strawberries I've rolled out some tiny little balls and these things could be anywhere from an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch depends upon how big or small you want to go and generally I roll them into a little ball and then I kind of press them into kind of a tiny oh like teardrop form okay but it's dulled on the one end or I should say it's kind of pushed in on the one end so that's kind of what I'm going to start doing here I'm rolling out a bunch of different little balls and I'm going to start doing that and then once I have these balls all together again I'm going to make that little flattened almost teardrop type form I'm going to bring in my needle tool and just start making little in indents into that little piece this will give me my strawberries now these are not absolutely precise precision how to make strawberries I've seen a lot of people do a lot of different versions this is just my you might say illustrative form of doing it now when I get a number of these strawberries together and right here you're seeing me just put some of the red balls up on there I'm doing that more like for filler than anything else yes you're not going to probably see all of it but I'd rather if you're looking at it closely you want to see that red so you get the idea that oh there's more strawberries buried underneath in this basket so I just create the ones that are on top with a bunch of different holes and I just fill in this entire basket with my strawberries all right now I'm going to start filling in with some leaves that go to these strawberries and right here I'm just adding in some line and notice I'm kind of indenting with my needle tool to kind of make a bit of an indent on that leaf that's what I'm doing for these particular 
you know, fruits, when you look at the actual leaf itself, it has a bit of a bumpy kind of form that goes around it or that it, it look, that it has, okay? It's not a smooth kind of leaf. It's got a bit of a bump around it. And so that's what I'm trying to portray here in my little leaves. And from here, I'll keep taking a lot of these little leaves. I'll keep putting them in the little places where you see, you know, like where there's gaps and there's openings in the basket. I'll place those in and then I create tiny little red balls. I like to use those as fillers because it makes a nice little added detail that you wouldn't think would otherwise be there. And yeah, it's not necessarily a strawberry strawberry, but it kind of adds to the effect of it possibly being a budding strawberry. Once I have my leaves and berries in, yes, I am bringing in my 22, actually I should say 24 to 30 gauge wire here. I, you know, <laughs> I like my wire. <laughs> this thing, when I make these baskets, to me, I always feel like I wanna do more than just a simple little basket. I want it to have a little bit more of a fuller and extravagant look, if you will. So yeah, I like to curl some wire, put some stuff in here. And so that's what's happening here. All right, so I wanna go ahead and create my second basket here. And yeah, that's about three quarters of an inch in diameter. And this one is gonna be a lot taller than my other one. The nice thing about baskets is, and the nice thing about doing these miniatures is you can compose something where you could put two of them together and you really want to have your basket staggered. You don't want to have them all the same height, okay? If you can have something where they're different heights, it's much more interesting to the eye. So when I go to, even when I go to photograph these at the very end, it's like, oh wow, that's, it's so much more interesting to look at when you have one basket that's a little taller than the other and they're not just the same size. So right here, I've rolled this into a lot longer kind of log, that mud piece, okay? And then I'm wrapping it up again with that gold tan roping. Now that I have that tan roping all the way up, I, I kind of push it down a little bit just to make sure it all connects and so it's a nice snug look. And then I measured this out, it's about an inch tall, which is pretty tall. And then I'm taking my needle tool here and I'm just rocking kind of an imprinted little line across all of this roping that I had just laid. This will give me another effect of the idea of a basket. It's a very simple kind of way to do it, but boy, that's all you really need. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys watch my hands talk as I put this basket of strawberries together.
All right, so there's a reason why I also put in those wires, and it's not just to curl the wire. You're gonna be seeing in this little segment here where I thought, let's add it where when you put the wire in, that you could put it into the strawberries also and have them, as you would say, kind of drop down from the strawberry basket. After all, when you think about it, they're on this thin little stem. <laughs> I always think about strawberries, they're always flopping over because they're so heavy, right, you know? But they're always on this thin little stem and they kind of drop down a little bit. So between that and, you know, with the wire itself curling it up, I thought this could be a lot of fun. So right here, I stuck my wire in, I made those little indents with my needle tool, and I'm bringing in a little bit of my green clay, I roll it into this log, and then I cut it in half, bring in my burnisher tool, kind of push that down, or you can even use your needle there, and then lift those up, and these become like tiny little leaves on the top of your strawberry. Now, this can be a little bit temperamental, so have patience. <laughs> Something I don't have. <laughs> but try to put those right on the top there, and look at that detail. It's a wonderful, awesome little detail that you can add in to your strawberries. All right, so at this point, both of our baskets have been baked, as well as the little strawberries that I did on the stem. The, everything has been baked. You don't have to worry about it. Now it's just a matter of dealing with the wire. And notice here with my needle tool, I kind of you know, wrap up that wire right against the, the needle itself. It creates a wonderful little, I, you know, it, it looks like a vine. It looks like a little tiny vine that's been corkscrewed and it's coming out. And I absolutely, this is what I do with any of my little fruit baskets. If I have a fruit basket, this is just generally one of my little signature things I like to do. I take my little needle tool, I wrap up that wire right on there. I have a length at the bottom so I could stick it into the basket, but then I have that little, you know, corkscrew kind of look that comes up out of it. Now, notice I've got a couple of these little corkscrewed kind of vine-like looking wires coming out. I'm not going to do that to all of them. And also, I'm going to add in a little bit of super glue to make sure that wire sticks in there pretty good. Once I do that, though, I'm going to bring in my little needle nose pliers and I'm going to start curling up the other extra little wires that I have going on. And mind you, these wires are, might be a little longer than what I would need at that point. This is where you can experiment and decide how big of a loop you want to use, and even if you want to have some of these curling wires within your basket composition.
Now I want you guys to notice here on those little curling wires, I added in little balls and then I took my needle tool and made little indents in there, almost like it was mimicking a little bit of a strawberry type thing. This was just something I wanted to do. Yes, you have to go back and rebake the basket. And again, it's like seven to 10 minutes for at 275 degrees. So just keep that in mind if you wanna go ahead and do that. Once I got that one done though, we're gonna move on now to the second basket. And the second basket is going to be using those little strawberries that were on the wire, right? I thought, let's go ahead and just kind of put them in there where they're hanging down and you see them right against the basket. This was such a fun thing. Oh my goodness, I loved this feature. I, I had never done this before in making my strawberry baskets. So this was kind of like, oh, I like you. <laughs> I was so excited about it, you're great. I was like, yay! <laughs> and so I started putting in my little wires with the strawberries. I kept thinking, this is what I should be doing more of. But it's also why I made the taller basket because the basket itself is also kind of like a background for any kind of extra things you wanna maybe possibly hang off of it, right? So if you have like a number of things in the basket, it's all piled up in the basket, but boy, it'd be really nice to drop something off of there and make it a feature that just catches the eye. And that's what I'm doing here. All right, so now that I've got all of my strawberries in and I love those little hanging strawberries, oh my gosh, I love it. I brought in some ink and gold uh, metallic paint and I thought let's go ahead and add a touch of that paint just into the openings of my indents on my strawberries and not every single indent. I'm just doing a few here and there in each strawberry, kind of giving it the idea that there might be little seeds in there. If you look at your strawberries, you have little seeds always, you know, in those little kind of indented areas, right? Well, that's what I'm doing here. I'm giving this the idea that there's little seeds in there. And this to me was just the added extra little touch I wanted to give my baskets.
once I got going with that ink and gold, I realized, you know what? I didn't detail my first basket and it had those little tiny circular imprinted areas. So I went back in with my ink and paint and yes, I get off a little bit, but just go over with a little, you know, wet towel or, or even a, a baby wipe. It'll take off the extra and repaint again. Um, it gives that nice little added extra detail that I wanted to have. All right, so this is the end result of creating my little strawberry baskets in polymer clay. Please use this for study and reference. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I'm always wondering what you're thinking. Otherwise, I'm sending out my biggest hugs to each of you, and I hope you have a fantastic day.